Friends, after watching this video, I hope you will try Rexis with Idrata forceps. After making the incisions, the anterior chamber is filled up with an air bubble. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. If we apply the dye underneath an air bubble, straining, straining is quicker. The anterior capsule gets stained in 15 seconds nicely if we use an air bubble. However, we can stain the anterior capsule without using air bubble. Then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and this is how we do capsulorexis with the atrata forceps in real speed. Now we will see this in slow motion. This is half of the real speed. We pierce the anterior capsule with utreta and go towards 3 o'clock and the anterior capsule is ripped apart. Hold the capsule with utreta, go anticlockwise and complete the rexis. Let us see this again. The rexis forceps goes pierces the anterior capsule at the center, rips apart and goes towards 3 o'clock. The prongs are opened, one prong goes into the cleft, another one onto the anterior capsule and we start the rexis. And now let us see this case. In this case, the anterior capsule has been already stained and now visco goes in, the fills off the anterior chamber and now it's the time to introduce the utrita forceps. As we enter into the anterior chamber with utrita, the anterior wall of the main wound is lifted up and the rest of the job is done keeping the utrita forceps lifted up. Now let us see this in slow motion. The utrita forceps goes in, pierces the anterior capsule. This is one fourth of the real speed, pierces the anterior capsule and it goes towards 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, rips apart the anterior capsule one prong goes into the cleft, another on onto the anterior capsule, holds the uterine capsule and starts. Now let us see in 50 percent of the normal speed. Goes in, pierces, rips apart the anterior capsule, one prong goes into the cleft, another on onto the capsule, holds the capsule at tag and regrasp, release after going about 3 clock hours, 3 or 4 clock hours, regrasp and complete the rexis. With utrita forceps, the control is much more and when we learn with utrita forceps, ultimately it will be easier and quicker. With needle we can do but it will, there is less control. Now when utrita cannot pierce the anterior capsule, what to do? In this case there is global genular weakness and the utrita cannot pierce the anterior capsule. There is wrinkling of the anterior capsule as we try to pierce the. So in this case what happens? A sharp needle helps. With sharp needle, we can easily cut the anterior capsule and raise a capsular tag. And now we hold this capsular tag and go anticlockwise. Always remember that though we lift off the anterior wall of the main wound with utrita, there is some leakage of the visco. And any time you find that the anterior chamber is getting shallow. You come out, refill the anterior chamber with visco. 
you may have to refill the entry chamber three, four times when you start. But whenever the entry chamber becomes shallow, come out gently and refill the anterior chamber and do again. So, thank you very much for watching. After watching this video, I hope you will be able to do rexis with iterator forceps.